August 19th, 2024, gray day in Denver, Colorado, Fiddler's Green. My daughter took me and I'm not, I hadn't traditionally been a fan of the Suicide Boys, nor did I really understand the gray day movement. But my daughter told me that gray day isn't just a concert series or an event. It's a shared experience, a place where people come together to feel, to heal, and to be understood. And the Suicide Boys have created a much more than that. You know, it's deeper than music. They've built a community for people who walk through life carrying a little extra weight. You know, who know what it feels like to live in the gray. And for those who have faced their own darkness but keep moving forward, the music speaks to the raw, unfiltered emotions we all go through. You know, the struggle, the pain, and the fight to stay alive. And in that music, we find a sense of hope, I was told. A reminder that we're not alone in the battles we face. So, I went to the concert with my daughter, and I spent three and a half hours listening to incredible music. But more so, being around incredible people. And um, I said to my daughter, I said, where are all of these people in our society? They were unique people and amazing, incredible people that had a lot of creativity about them. And she said, Dad, these are the people that you walk by every day, the people that you see right through. And I got to thinking about that. And I thought, you know, life, just like a gray day, can feel overwhelming. You know, there are moments where it feels like the weight is too much, where every step forward is a struggle. But let me tell you something, the gray doesn't last forever. You know, it's in these difficult moments where we find our strength. And you are so much stronger than you think. You know, and the fact that you're still here, still breathing, still fighting, that's something powerful. You know, take a moment to remember one of the most iconic Suicide Boys lyrics. I ain't scared of the fall. I've felt the ground before. You know, these words from Paris, they remind that hitting rock bottom doesn't mean the end. You know, we've all been there at some point, felt the weight of the world dragging us down. But here's the thing. Every time we've fallen, we've gotten back up. And you've gotten back up, and that's what makes you powerful. You see, falling down is not a failure. Staying down is. And the fact that you've stood up and you're still standing is a victory in itself. You know, and I know there are days when it feels like you're carrying an emptiness inside. Like there's a hole in your chest that nothing can fill. You know, the Suicide Boys speak to that feeling in Kill Yourself Part 3 when they say, I'm so empty, inside I'm dying. You know, it's a feeling that so many of us have experienced. That sense of being lost, of feeling like nothing matters. But here's the truth. You're not alone in that feeling. You're part of a community that understands that's been through it too. And even though it's hard acknowledging the pain, you know, it's the first step in healing. It's a sign you're alive and that you're fighting, that you're pushing through the darkness. You know, one, another suicide boy that comes to mind is from secondhand, you know, where they say, my heart is broke, but I'm still breathing. And that's what I want you to remember. You know, even if your heart feels shattered, you're still breathing, you're still here. And as long as you have breath in your lungs, there's hope. There's a chance for brighter days. You might feel broken, but being broken doesn't mean you're defeated. You're surviving, and that's something to be proud of. You know, the Suicide Boys have always been about more than just expressing the darkness. They're about finding hope in that darkness. In And to those I love, thanks for sticking around, which is the last song they play at every concert, they remind us of the importance of connection, of the people who stand by us, even when we can't stand on our own. But please don't try, or I'm sorry, please don't cry. Look at the sky and know that I'm right here. It's a reminder that no matter how hard life gets, you're not alone. And even in the darkest moments, there are people who love you, who care for you, and who want you to keep going. You know, your struggles do not define you. You are not your pain. You are the strength it takes to keep pushing forward. 
the resilience it takes to wake up every day and choose to keep living. You are more than the gray days you've faced. And so, as we stand here today, I want to leave you with this. The gray may be heavy, but it's not permanent. The storm doesn't last forever. You have survived every one of your hardest moments, and there's more light waiting for you than you might realize right now. You know, every breath you take is a victory. Every step forward is a triumph. You are here for a reason, and you have so much more to offer the world. So remember what the Suicide Boys said. It's not a funeral. It's a revolution. You are part of something bigger. Your journey, your survival, your story, it all matters. You matter. And there's so much more ahead of you. You know, the gray will fade. And when it does, you'll see how strong you've become. So keep fighting. Keep holding on. Because no matter how hard life gets, you are stronger than you know. The fact that you're still here means there's more life to live, more love to feel, more dreams to chase. You made it this far, and I promise there's so much more ahead. You are loved, you are valued, and your story isn't over yet. Keep going and never forget, you're not alone in this journey. We're all in this together, and together we can rise above the storm. Thank you.